Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hallo gebar, Maxime here. Just a single day has passed and we already have another update. The first update was focused on communication and this, but this update however is focused on map changes. Before I go into the video, I want to talk about Now Drinks, the focused drink with healthy ingredients, no caffeine or taurine, and it helps with concentration for when you have longer gaming or study sessions. With the code Banana Gaming, you get 10% off. I recommend trying both flavors if you haven't, but my favorite is the Raspberry Blueberry one. Go check it out in the link below. Okay, let's start with Vertigo. This is a map that I absolutely love to play on retakes because of its high skill ceiling compared to other maps. You can easily fall to your death, there are many boost and wall bangable spots, and some sick angles. And if you play Wingman now, you'll be doing it on A site instead of B site. Since I've played on both sites, I could immediately tell if the changes from this update were good. Let's start with these wooden things, usually found near the corners of the map. All of them have been replaced by metal, and you can no longer hide behind this one. I think this is to make the map more basic. I prefer the way it was before because even if you were hiding behind, it was high risk, high reward. You had to be careful not to fall down, and you were kind of trapped if someone spotted you. Plus, wood is easier to wallbang than metal. To compensate for not being able to hide behind it anymore, you now have cover in front of it instead. There are some other areas that are more yellow now, and harder to wallbang, like this area for example. To be honest, I think making the map less wallbangable lowers the skill ceiling. But I'm still happy they kept this wall the way it is. The site itself has changed as well, and it's definitely for the better. Before, you could get stuck in between some of the barrels. It was clumsy to navigate through the site, and it felt unfinished. They also removed some clipping here where some of us used to hide behind. Rip. I've never liked the crate that you see on the right. I'm happy that it's gone now. Plus, they added some cover to the left, which was needed. The last two things I want to point out is this ramp, which has changed a bit. I like it. And also this new area allowing CTs to play from this position. And for some reason, Valve decided to make this map even easier with these on B site, preventing you from falling down. Hmm, I'm okay with these changes, but I really hope they don't lower the skill level on this map anymore, because right now, it is good. I might even make a separate video just talking about Vertigo overall, but for now, I want to move on. Black Sight, the Danger Zone map, has the promised graffiti from the Polish duo who came first place from the show match of the Katowice Major. And where to put it? Well, close to where they won their final round. Nice one, Valve. Next map, Biome. Lower middle has been reopened, and the ladder is gone. This opens up middle, and I also like that the boost element is back. Mid connector has also been reopened. My guess is that this change was made simply due to the fact that it was hard to play after plant from this area, seeing it favors T's to plant close to it. You just need a single smoke to block the entrance, and that's it. This reopened door allows for some diversity. Finally, we got Abbey, one of my new favorite maps, as you all probably know already, and this update made it even better. I'm just gonna focus on the most interesting changes, starting with a site, which hasn't changed much. However, this area has been reworked, and now we got barrels of wine pour les Français bourrés. Also, really like this detail going a site from upper CT. B, site itself hasn't changed much, other than being able to plant here, but long has been changed a lot. The walls are gone, and everything is moved closer to the site itself. Awesome change. I was never a fan of the walls, and this opens up the site in a very good way. Not only that, the underpass section has been greatly improved as well. This was needed, as a lot of players go through there to rotate to B, which could get very messy before. This is just the bigger updates of Abbey, but as you can see, there's more. The update isn't necessarily that interesting to all of you perhaps, but for me who enjoys retakes on all these maps, it is definitely a welcoming one. You can find all my social media links down below, please like the video to show your support, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome, and go bananas!